The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Weeknights find you trapped in the doldrums looking for a way out? Then throw aside that compass and let your sense of humor lead you straight to CBS Radio's Amos and Andy Music Hall. With all of Amos and Andy's mischievous friends on hand to entertain you five nights a week, and with celebrated guest stars dropping by to add to the fun, boredom takes it on the chin while you sit back and have a ball. Tonight and every Monday through Friday night, tune in our Amos and Andy Music Hall. And remember, it's yours for the listening on Saturdays in the daytime, too, over most of these same stations. Bye, honey. Where are you going? To lodge meeting. Oh, dear, I didn't realize you were going so soon. Well, I left before, but I can't find my other glove. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. What? No, no, it's all right, dear. What? You want me to do something? Well, I was over at Jansen's, and Paul Jr. was having trouble with his arithmetic. Neither Paul nor Ruth could do them, so I said, let me take the book home. My husband is brilliant at things like oh, this. Oh, well. And I just thought if you could look at the problems and see if you could figure out how to do them. What do you mean, that... if I could figure out how to do them? Now, look, run along. I forgot your lodge meeting. No, no, no. I don't have to leave for a minute or so. Where, where are the problems, darling? I'll, I'll be glad to help out. Well, there's quite a few. you better take off your coat. No, no, darling. Just find the book. I'll have them done in no time at all. I must say, if there's one thing I was pretty darn good at in school, it was arithmetic. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, be it reading, working, motoring, or just plain relaxing, it's more pleasant to do it to music. The music that comes to you on CBS Radio's Sunday music programs. This Sunday, you can hear Leonard Bernstein conducting the New York Philharmonic in some new and some familiar works. One of the latter, Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto, will feature the renowned Misha Elman as soloist. Another fine violinist, Joseph Fuchs, will be heard in a solo spot with Michelle Piastro and the Symphonette. CBS Radio's The Best in Music will offer a full hour of popular favorites from stage and screen. Guest stars on this sparkling program will include Dorothy Collins and Steve Lawrence. Dick Hames will sing in the new show called For You, and the musical ministrations of Dick, Maureen Bailey, and Dorian and his orchestra are planned exclusively for your listening pleasure. You'll also want to hear the irresistible rhythms of Vincent Lopez and his orchestra and Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians. Remember then, whatever you're doing, do it to music Sundays on CBS Radio. arithmetic book. I'm mm -hmm. sorry to keep you waiting, dear. I knew I had That's it. That's okay, right? now. Which ones are they? Well, there's different problems, starting on page 48. Different pages they're marked. Okay, I'll tell you what, honey. While I'm doing this, will you look for my other glove? Uh-huh. Now, you sure you have time to do oh, these? Oh, yes, sure, darling. Just let me get some paper and pencil. Oh, and yeah, I'll... I'll get it for you. Sit at the desk, darling. Here's paper, pencil. You better take off your coat. No, no, darling. This won't take but a couple of minutes. Look, i got to leave right away anyhow. An election of officers mm -hmm. at the lodge meeting tonight. Well, it's tonight. nice of you to take the time to look over Paul oh. Jr.'s arithmetic. I know Ruth will appreciate okay, it. Okay, honey, now just... Well, you know, she... Da darling, uh, just keep quiet, huh, while I oh. concentrate. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, dear. Then I can just whip through these. Yeah, now, sure. let's see. A boy who lives five miles from his school walks partway at four miles per hour uh -huh, and then waits six minutes for a school bus at a certain crossroads. The bus runs 20 miles per hour, but speeds up to 30 after five minutes. If the boy starts at 8.25 a.m. and reaches the school at 8.58 a.m., how far does he ride in the bus? How far does he ride in the bus? Hmm. I can't find your other glove, dear. Is Paul Jr. going to college now? College? Heavens no. He's a sophomore in high school. Sophomore? Yes. I don't remember having this stuff in high school. Oh, are they hard? Oh, no, 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 no. no it's just a... Look, find my glove, will you? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm looking for it, dear. Which is his school at 8.58. How far does he ride in the bus? 
Well, I'll come back to this one later. Your glove isn't on the closet shelf. Where do you think you had it last? When I came home before dinner. Now, let me see. Number two. Good heavens. Did you get the answer to the first one already? They couldn't do it at all. Oh, well, I I haven't written it down yet. I've oh. got the answer, I mean, more or less in my head, you know. <laughs> and I just... Uh-huh. Sure, well, I knew you yeah. could do them. You're a smarty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. Now, look on the floor of the closet. Your glove may have fallen down. Number two. At the rate of three miles an hour uphill and four miles an hour downhill, a man can walk 60 miles in 17 hours. How much of the distance is uphill and how much is downhill? How much of the distance is uphill and how much is downhill? I think I better take off my coat. I would, dear. You don't want to catch cold and you go out here. Let me help you. I'll help you, darling. How much is downhill and how much is uphill? What, dear? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm just, just thinking. That's... Oh. <laughs> you should have been a scientist, dear. You really are so smart about things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Gee, you got the second one done already, too? Well, I'm just glancing through them before oh, I... Oh, sure, uh... sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess this one, third one. Yeah, that's yes. the third one. Uh, Man starts from his home to catch a starts train. Starts from his home to catch a train. And Travis. darling, please oh. don't. I mean, well, uh, I'm well, sorry, honey. I just uh, don't read over my. Oh, phone, oh, please, okay. it's very kind. I discuss. I know it is. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> right, sweet. Yeah. Now, a man starts from his home to catch a train, walking at the rate of one yard in one second, and arrives two minutes late. If he had walked the rate of four yards in three seconds, he would have arrived two and a half minutes early. Wait a minute. If he had walked at the rate of four yards in three seconds, he would have started two and a half minutes early. How far is his home from the station? Hey, this is algebra. Of course it's algebra. Oh. What did you think it was? Did you find my other glove? No, not yet, dear. I'm still looking, though. You know, these problems are ridiculous. They're not going to do Paul Jr. one bit of good later on in life. Well, they'll do him a lot of good tomorrow if he hasn't done when he gets to school. Oh. How far is his home from the station? The answers aren't in the back. I wasn't... Uh, I, are you looking for my glove? Yes, yes, I am, dear. Thank I am, you. Yes. <clears throat> now, linear equations. X equals the number of yards. Y equals time. X minus 1 equals X over Y. No, that's Here's not. your glove. All right, Here's all right. Thank here. you. X over 3 plus 2 squared. That is isn't. Oh, look at the time. Darling, forget about them. If you can't do them, it it doesn't. Can't do them? Of course I can do them. It's just that if I'd known about it earlier, I mean, well, these are not hard. They're just, you know, complicated. I'm not used to them. Funny how some people just have minds like that, isn't it? And other people don't. I know that with me, you know, I just never could do it. Honey, I won't get anything done if you're going to talk. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. sorry. All right. All right, darling. If he had walked at the rate of four yards in three seconds, he would have started two and a half minutes early. How far is he? X equals the rate of speed. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hello. Yes, I know he's a little late, George, but he does intend to come to the lodge meeting. Yeah, will you hold on just a second, dear? Dear. What, 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 what? Hey, it's George Bailey. The lodge meeting has started. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, I'll be there. Tell him I'm tied up important business. Uh, George, no, he's rather tied up with some uh, important speed. business, but he'll be there. <clears throat> okay. Goodbye, George. Why don't you go on down to the meeting, dear? Look, did you or did you not ask me to do these problems? Yes, I did, but why All do right. you get so cross? Just because you can't do a few silly little arithmetic. I problems. am not cross, and I most certainly can do them. Well, I'm sorry I brought them over. What one are you working on? The third one. What answer did you get for the first one? I haven't done it yet. All right, all right, all right. Why doesn't Paul Jr. pay attention when he's in class so he knows how to do these? Well, dear, I... A man starts from his home to catch a train, walking at the rate of one yard in one second and arrives two minutes late. If he had walked at the rate of four yards in three seconds, he would have arrived two and a half minutes early. How far is his home from the station? It's got nothing to do with that. Well, at any rate, there's a man who gets some exercise walking to work. You know, you're always saying you never get any exercise, dear. Maybe if you walk to work once in a while instead of taking the car off. Look. Well, you're always saying you don't get enough exercise. That is not the kind of exercise I mean. What kind do you mean? Oh, look, I don't know. I don't know. I certainly don't see any point in walking two miles to work when I've got a car. Abraham Lincoln walked ten miles just to go to school. Oh, X over Y. No, no, no. He walked 
One yard in one second. Well, of course, I think problems like that are silly. You don't walk the same rate of speed all the time anyhow. One yard in... Makes a big difference with me, I know. I've got on low heels. I walk a lot faster than I do in high heels. What? Makes a difference whether you're wearing high heels or low heels. What does? Walking. Well, I don't imagine the man in this problem is wearing high heels. No, dear, I know, but if his wife were with him, he might have walked slower, you know. Uh, look at the time here. I'm due at the lodge meeting. I'm Forget late. the arithmetic problems and go. If I'd known you were going to get so cross and upset, it doesn't matter really whether you can do these or not. Yes, it does. You know how Paul Jansen's always making cracks about my going to college. Well, I wouldn't let it bother me. Remember the time I mispronounced something we were over there? Mm. I can't remember what it was. Paul though. just loved that. Remember, he said, oh, don't worry. I had time to learn all those things while you were going to college. Well, why uh, do you let it bother you? Look, can you see him if I trot over there and can't even do a few simple algebra problems? Oh, forget it. Now, you go on to your lodge meeting, dear. I'm going to run up and see if Betsy is covered. Yeah, oh, all right, honey, okay. Operator, operator, give me Walnut 2878. Yes, that's right. Hello. Hello, George. Look, now, I know this is all going to sound pretty silly, but you're the only guy I can think of who can help me out. We'll return to the couple next door in just a moment. Falling off a log may be easy, but it's nowhere near as much fun as listening to CBS Radio's new Peter and Mary show. That's clearly demonstrated whenever you spend time with Peter Lind Hayes and Mary Healy. In their effortless way, this amiable and accomplished pair move from humor to song and back again with no difficulty whatsoever. And when it comes to playing host to an interesting or talented guest, their friendly informality puts even the most celebrated people at their ease. Join Peter and Mary on most of these same stations each weekday. Meet their friends. Enjoy their refreshing songs. No need to dress up. Just come as you are, wherever you are, when CBS Radio's delightful new Peter and Mary show comes your way every weekday. What could be easier? What could be as much fun as that? <laughs> No, 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 George. The man walks one yard a second and arrives two minutes late. If he had walked four yards in three seconds, he'd have been two and a half minutes early. How far is this house to this, from the station? No, I am not down in Joe's tavern. I'm home. It's arithmetic. Algebra. Look, George, you're going to be home tonight. Well, can I drop by and leave the problem and pick him up after a lodge meeting? Yeah, well, I said to myself, I'll call George Clampy. He's the only one. George can... Clampy? Oh, g goodbye, George. Goodbye. Uh... Oh, I didn't hear you come downstairs, darling. I, George I... Clampy, are you getting a certified public accountant to do Paul Jr.'s arithmetic? Yes. Well, you probably have to pay him. No, I won't. Even if I do, it'll be worth it. I've got a reputation at stake. Now, where's my... Thought you found my other glove. Here, here. It was right on the hall table. Oh, here. that's the one I had. Never mind, oh, never mind. Dear, here, come in. Right. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, darling. I've got to go. I'm too late now. Do you have to go to the lodge meeting? Certainly I've got to go. I've got to give the treasurer's report. The treasurer's report? You? Yes, yes. why? Oh, <laughs> honey. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. dear. Sunday, when most of these same stations bring you suspense, somebody else finds out what it's like to be in a real jam, discovers what a potent force his own fear can be, and stakes his very existence on his ability to control his emotions and use his intelligence. Sunday, another human being will live long enough, at least, to tell his tale of suspense. But whether or not he lives longer cannot be determined in advance, and therein lies the... Suspense. They 
Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Ellen Bunch. Is produced by Walter Hart. <laughs>